In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the free Wotan server software to update your Sony Ericsson phone. Um, to use this software, all you have to do is create a free account, and then once you've done that, download the client. So one of the reasons to use this software is they have different firmware versions from all around the world, and some that aren't available if you uh, update using PC Companion or Update Service. So there, just download the client. As always, before you start flashing, you need to install both PC Companion and Update Service so that uh, the drivers for, your, uh, for the phone are installed and your computer will recognize the phone. Um, if Update Service isn't available because Sony Ericsson has removed it, go into the description for this video and there's a link to Mediafire where I've mirrored all the files so you can download it from here. Uh, there are also other useful Android apps in there. As always, again, before flashing your phone, always make sure you uh, back up and uh, save all your data. So for example, on this phone, it's 2.3.3, the official uh, LT15A for North America, and build 3.0.145. But if I go into software update and try to update now, it's going to say there's no update even though 2.3.4 has been uh, released. So this is one way of getting um, 2.3.4 directly. So once you've downloaded the client, you're just going to run it and it's going to ask you to plug your phone into flash mode. So I'm just going to pull the battery and plug in the phone, hold the back button and put the battery back in. The green light's gonna come on and the server software is gonna switch over to the client. So now you're gonna click on advanced settings and as you can see in here it'll ask you for your model and the firmware and other information. So this allows you to flash a lot of different phones. There's the X10, the Play, uh, a bunch of older Sony phones as well as the ARC, which is the LT15. Um, where is it? So that's the Xperia ARC, LT15. Um, so for example, the latest firmware is 4.0, 4.02. There's also the original old ones, which is the 181, 184, etc. So for example, if I flash back to 181, there's all these different firmwares from all the different regions. And you can flash whatever one you want. Uh, the US firmware, which is the one I'm using, is actually different from the North American firmware in that it allows you to update over the air. So if I click on Generic US and click on Next, it's going to download. Just going to have to log in with my account. Just click on update, it's going to say you have a credit, and then click on next and it's going to start downloading the firmware. I've already downloaded these files, and if you want to download a zip file with the US firmware already there, uh, again, just read the description and I have a link over there. So now it's just going to flash my phone. Uh, you're not actually going to see any activity, but as you can see here, it's just flashing the phone. So once flashing is finished, all you do is unplug the phone and power it back on. Plug and power on. Actually, just going to put it here and put a stopwatch.
Once the phone is finished booting up, just go through the uh, normal setup process. And as you can see, I'm back to build 181232. Uh, 181. So you, so you can use Wotan server to flash a whole bunch of different uh, firmwares, uh, such as the latest 4.0 firmware, which I'm going to show in another video and show how to root it.